Hey everybody, it's Ms. Ponte. Today we're going to do assignment 61. Here it is. Um, this is my teacher example, okay? So it says, is 10 negative 2 a solution to this equation? Oh, I forgot to put another equation. I'll just leave it like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to label the first one in the parentheses is always X and the second number is always Y. You know, you should know that by now, but remember X comes first in the alphabet and then Y. So that number is your X coordinate and that number is your Y. So I'm going to plug those two values into the equation. So let's do it. 2 and instead of X, I'm going to put 10. I put the parentheses around it so you wouldn't think it was 210. It's um, 2 squished together with 10, which means times. Now I'm going to put plus, and instead of Y, I'm going to put negative 2. Now I could just put negative 2 like that, but then that gets confusing with two signs next to each other, so I go like that. Plus negative 2 equals 18. Now you can use the calculator. 2 times 10 is 20. Now you have to watch your signs. Anytime you're going to have a negative number involved, you need to watch your signs. So this is plus a negative 2. So in your calculator, you're going to do plus 2 and then make the 2 negative. So pay attention to your calculator. Don't use a subtraction sign anymore for a negative sign. So you do 20 plus 2 and then make the 2 negative with that button. And you notice if you push that button again, it makes the number back to positive. So you should punch in your calculator 20 plus 2 and then make the 2 negative and see if that equals 18 and yes it does. So your answer is yes. This is a solution to this equation. Now on your problem you're getting ready to do, it's going to say is this and solution to this system of equations. So you need to try the two numbers in both equations. And if it's true, then the answer is yes. So you're doing it just like we did, but you're going to do it separately in both equations to see if it works, to see if when you plug those numbers in if it's true. So here's your problem. So this is assignment 61, and I'll leave it on the screen for a minute. If you need to pause it, you can. Uh, let me move myself out of the way. Okay, what is the solution for the system of equations? So you're going to pick one of the answers. So, in other words, you need to try them all. So on the first one, you're going to, instead of an X, you're going to put negative 11. Instead of a Y, you're going to put negative 25. So erase the Y and put negative 25 equals 2 times 11 negative minus 3. And see if that's yes or no. Then you're going to try these same two numbers again for the bottom equation because it's a system of equation. It has to work for both equations. Now you're going to do 4 times negative 11. Subtract whatever 3 times negative 25 is. Now don't try to make your calculator do too many steps at once because it won't. So you need to go ahead and do some of it first on paper. So this um, 3 times negative 25, you need to go ahead and do that first and write it underneath. Go back to what I did a minute ago. See how I went ahead and did the 20? Because don't make your calculator do, the calculator do everything all at once. Go ahead and find out your 20 and just write that down. So you need to go ahead but first and figure out what 3 times 25 negative is. And watch the sign because you have a negative here and then you're going to have 3 times 25 negative. So some of you may not get this one right. But, um, so once you're through trying those two numbers, you're either going to say yes it worked for both equations or no it didn't. Then move on to the next one. The next one, the next one. So let's just take 11, 19. You're going to say the 19 is the y. So 19 equals 2 times 11 minus 3. you got to figure out if that's yes or no. Let's go back to 11 and 19 again. Right here it's going to be 4 times 
11 minus whatever 3 times 19 is. Now, because your calculator can't do too many steps at once, you need to go ahead and figure out what 3 times 19 is first, and you go ahead and figure out what 4 times 11 is first. So you'll have those ready to punch in your calculator. Don't punch in so many steps in the calculator at once, okay? Okay, let's see who can get this done. Please go to the principal's tutoring um, tomorrow night, 5 o'clock, because you are getting extra credit. There's like four of you who are getting extra credit for going, even Dakota, who's not even in our class anymore, but he came back to regular school at, at the building. He still comes to tutoring because he wants to pass the EOC. So come to tutoring. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.